Alright, so the book that I want Michaela to read is not, in fact, The Invasion of the Tearling, but the first book, The Queen of the Tearling. Um, this is the one that I had on me, so sorry, friends. Um, so, the reason you have to read it is because it is the most amazing piece of genre-crossing fantasy fiction ever read. The main character is, like, 19 years old, so it kind of verges on being YA, but it doesn't sacrifice any of the writing that people, like, tend to blame YA for. So it, like, brings you into the world and gives you all of the great things that you like about, like, high fantasy, except for without the excessive, oh my god, like, his grandfather did the thing and it's great and wonderful, bleh. Um, and also, there's, like, no romance. There's, like, she's a 19-year-old girl and she likes to, like, she wants to like a person, but she has a really big job being the queen. And she, like, hasn't been with people for a while, so she has to learn how to be a queen and learn a country. And it's all about her struggles doing that, so it's actually a really good book about a girl empowering herself being 19 years old, but written well, and it's beautiful, and I love it, and my timer went, like, off. Nope, it didn't. Well, I have nothing at all against YA, and nothing at all against YA fantasy, especially since I just said that when you gave this to me, it sounded like something I would want. I do have a problem with trilogies, and how, how those works is, is it, you're clearly reading the second book, so you, you liked the first one enough, but do you think that it's going to last all that time? And also, fantasy. You, you say it's good fantasy. Are you sure? Are you sure? Am I going to get bored? I mean, you say it's not epic fantasy, but like, meh. First off, the way that this one is structured next to the first one is way different. The first one was like a narrative story following this one girl, uh, but kind of other POVs as well, but this one actually goes back and forth in time, telling two parallel stories, which is All really right. different and keeps the setting really cool. Also, yes, it's epic fantasy, but no, you're not going to get bored because I am the queen of, ugh, I'm bored, please can't put the book down, and I was not bored. I swept through the whole thing in like one night. You're not going to get bored, and the trilogy is exciting, so you should definitely read it. So you just watched Michaela and I duke it out over a book. If you liked it, switch to the other blog, you know, the one that you're not on, and see us switch roles and watch the other one defend and the other one attack. It'll be great. Also, have you read the book that we just defended? If you think we missed something, and we probably did because it was only like a minute and 30 seconds, comment below and tell people why they should or shouldn't read the book that you just watched us defend. Thanks for watching.